Hello everybody, welcome back to a another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you the secret controls in Minecraft Java Edition. So if you like this video then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. And so we will get started. So of course there are many, many, many different controls in Minecraft Java Edition. Of course we have a beautiful list right over here. But today I will not be going over these controls right here. No, I'll be going over the controls that are actually not mentioned here. And so this is the beautiful list of controls that are already mentioned. A pretty long list. Of course there's also zoom here. That's just because I have Optifine installed. That will normally not be there. But there are a couple more controls that are actually really helpful and so we'll go over them here and so we'll start off with control b and control b will actually toggle the narrator so if we hold control and press b narrator you can see narrates all then we have the narrator enabled and it narrates all if we press b again narrator narrates chat it will go to narrating just chat and narrator, if we press it again narrates system it narrates the system press it once more off and it's off. So these are the four options. You can also get these options if you go to options, then to chat settings. And then over here we have narrator. We will see that it is off. Narrator narrates all button. Narrates all. Narrator narrates chat. Narrates chat. Narrator narrates system narrates button. System. Narrator off. And narrator off. So those are the four options there, but you can also get them by holding control and pressing B. And narrator, you can quickly narrator, shift through narrator, them right narrator, over here. Narrator narrator. Off. And so this is really useful for people who maybe can't see that well or whatever. And so if we have it enabled narrator, like this. Use mouse cursor or tab button to select element. It actually gives some sort of hint on what to do when hovering over something or when opening your inventory. Crafting. It use tells you that you can craft over here. Button. Then next we'll actually move over to the Minecraft multiplayer server list. And so there are a couple of keyboard shortcuts or extra controls here that you might not know of. And so first of all, if you select a server, so let's select Hypixel here, for example, hold shift and then press up or down. You can actually see that it moves it up and down your server list. So if you want to have a server higher or lower, you can do that with shift and then the arrow keys. Of course, you can also hover over it and then press up or down over here. That works just as fine as well. And pressing this bigger arrow just makes you join the server. But doing this with shift and then the arrow key is way faster than having to click on here, going down, click again, going down, click again. And you can easily miss click as well. So this is way, way easier. Also, what happened to Mindplex? Wow. And then there's actually a second thing here you can do. And that is that you can refresh this page. Of course, you already see the refresh button down here. But as most of you already know, you can also refresh pages by pressing F5. Yes. That also refreshes the multiplayer list page here. So it works the same as clicking this refresh button. You can just press F5. That works as well. But now let's get back into our world. And that is because next we have a control that many OG Minecraft players will already know of. And that is that you can actually sprint in a different way than holding control. So normally you sprint by holding control and then pressing W like this. That works just fine. But you can also start sprinting by double pressing W. So if you just press W, of course, you start walking and it's very slow. But if you double press W, you will see that we automatically start sprinting. I'm not holding control. I'm not pressing control or whatever i just keep sprinting here until i of course release w and then i stop and so this is one way of course of being able to sprint without having to hold control all the time with your pinky which i don't know might be hurting after a while but you can also change this in your settings so if you go to controls over here you can set sprint to toggle and then you can just hold w press control once and then play ahead as normal but of course that does involve also having to press control first but you can also just double press W and that causes you to sprint as well. I do prefer to just using control and having to hold it as well. I feel like I'm in control more. Ha! Then we move over to one of the more useful secret controls and that has to do with pick block. So if we go to our controls tab over here to keybinds, we will see that our middle button is set to pick block. And so this means that if we press our middle mouse button or the scroll wheel or whatever you want to call it, you will get that block into your hand right away. And of course, if you don't have it in your hand and use the pick block feature, you will automatically scroll over to it. If you have it in your inventory, you will immediately get it from your inventory. And yes, this also works in survival mode. So if we move over to survival mode like this, we can of course not pick block this moss block because we don't have it in our inventory. But if we want to get some clay, 
middle mouse button and we get our stack of clay we had in our inventory right over here. So that works very, very well, but that's of course already in the control section. So what is the interesting thing here? Well, that has to do with containers. So if we get a chest and put some stuff in here, like some clay and maybe some moss blocks, let's say, let's also put a couple of tall grass in there, maybe like a couple there, a couple more, like this. We'll see that this is a very specific combination, but if we use the pick block on this chest, it will just give us a normal chest, nothing in there. But now, if you hold control and then use the middle mouse button like this, you will see we get a new chest. And if we hover over it like this, we will see it has plus NBT. And this just means it has more data. So if you now place down this chest, we will see that if we open it, it has exactly the same contents as this chest over here. And so not only does this work with chests, this works with furnaces or with barrels or whatever other kind of containers you want. It all works exactly the same. But not only does it work with containers like these, it also works with, for example, text containers. So if we get a sign and we say, for example, subscribe, don't know why you want to do that, but there we go. Then hold control, middle mouse button, we get a new sign, and now we have a sign that just says subscribe on it. And so this can be really, really useful, especially if you're working with command blocks. Because if, for example, have a command block and you have a nice command in there, for example, let's say I have this very, very interesting command over here that gives me 100 diamonds. Done. Now if I want to get another command block that gives me, for example, 100 emeralds, I don't have to type in the entire thing again. No, I can just hold control, press middle click, get the command block, place it down. It has the exact same command in as before. And then I can immediately change over the diamond to emerald like this. And I'm done and it saves me a whole lot of hassle, especially with longer and more complicated commands. So that is control plus middle click. Then we move over to Q. And of course Q, yes, that drops the item you have in your hand like this like this or like this that just works like that with q but you can also use control q and every time i see this it just hurts people doing this like picking up a stack and moving it to the other side and clicking it so it falls out it just takes so long just hold control press q while hovering over a stack of items and it gets thrown out of your inventory also works if you hold it in your hand hold control press q it drops the entire stack so this is just one of many inventory controls and if you want to know more about these inventory controls like the one i used before where i created stacks of items like this then go watch a video i made on inventory tips and tricks it's in the top right hand side of your screen so go watch that one after this video and there are also a couple more sort of secret controls in there and so then next we have the tab key and of course tab normally would bring up the people on a server but you can also use tab in a different way and so that is with commands. Yes, we already have some command blocks over here. And you might have noticed when I was doing this that something odd was happening. So over here, we have a list of commands we could use. And if we press tab like this, you can see that it scrolls through all different commands we have. So if we would want, for example, the effect command, we can just have this and then press space. And move on to the second part, we can press tab, 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 tab. It just switches between all the options we have. Space again. Then it gives us the, the player we want, so we can move over to my name, like this, and press space again. We can also, for example, if we wanted, let's say, night vision, press N first. Then we see noise and night vision, press tab twice, and then we have night vision. So that's what you could also do with the tab key. Really, really useful when working with commands and having these options immediately available. And then finally, we have one more thing, and that's... Also a creative control. So this works in your creative inventory. So right over here we are in our creative inventory, but let's say I want a beacon. Now I don't know in which tab it is, so I pretty much have to search for it, right? But there is no search box here, of course. If we move over to search items, then yes, there is a search box here, but I don't wanna have to press that. That takes me way too long. So what you can do instead is when you're in, well, whatever screen in the creative inventory at all, if you press T, it automatically brings you to this search items. So this can be really useful if you're just looking for something, you can't find it. Just press T and beacon and there we go. We have our beacon. This means you don't have to search for which, wait, which tab was it again where I can search items? Uh, this one, right? No, no need for that. Just head over here, press T, and then search for whatever you wanted to search for. Like, I don't know, iron, 
whatever. And so these are pretty much all the secret controls in Minecraft. There are a couple more. And so these have to do with the F3 key. And so if you want to know about these secret commands or controls or whatever you want to call them, I also made a video on those. So check that out in the top right hand side of your screen. They can be really, really useful in giving you more information about your world. Like for example, turning on chunk boundaries or turning on the advanced tooltips that gives some more information about every single block in your inventory. So go watch that video right after this one to get even more secret controls in Minecraft Java Edition. But there we go, that was pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. I want to thank my tier 3 member, this Mikkelaar. Thank you for subscribing a tier 3 member. If you also want to become a member, click the blue join the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go, I hope you all enjoyed this episode in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Mm,